what up everybody we got special guest michael b here moochel b i know the mystics mysticals i know the ancient mystics what is this is this the chair what is this in the yeah i think it's the chair oh you're right we're moving in front of the boxes yeah don't worry i won't hurt your little top don't hurt my little top michael is it good now yeah i think we're good oh we got a planeswalker <laughs> excuse me Man, that was a gaudy. She's being real sassy tonight. She was giving me a hard time. She had one apple cider, and she was two sheets to the wind. It wasn't an apple cider. They're all apple ciders. Oh. Babe, what are you doing? Are you snapping? What's going on? Are you in here? No. Okay. I was like, what is she clacking around? The planeswalker. Michael, this is the first dual-faced planeswalker, right? Uh, Yeah, it is. I mean, you know better than I, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Pigment Storm. Let's deal five damage to something. It also costs less. This makes How slow all is this format. What? How slow? Yeah. It's relatively slow. It's not quick format. Okay. Yet. Until someone breaks it. I hear that, and I'm like, what's that noise? And I'm like, oh, I think it's the AC outside. There was a dual face Garrick. Shit, he's right. Oh. Oh, but you couldn't cast both sides. That's the thing. This is the first Planeswalker where you can cast both sides. Oh, yeah. You had to. There was other flip. There's been other flip Planeswalkers. Yes, but there's been several, actually. Right. Well, this is. I mean, I mean, like, cast. This is the first like, you cast. You can just each be like, side. oh, I'm going to play. I can choose yeah, which right. side I want to play. Non conditionally, you just pick which side you want, right? And just for those who don't know, plus one on the on the red Rowan is it deals one damage to an opponent. If you've drawn three or more cards, it deals three damage instead. So it's just a, just a ping each turn. Uh, negative four, you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you may pay two if you do copy it. Um, so not bad. I mean, you're also just playing for the, the, the static effect most of the time. I'm going to take elemental summoning. This is just a lesson. It sits in your sideboard. So you make a four, four. Well, you can play in your main, right? You don't have yes, to. but yeah, yeah. you have very little reason to. Because, I, know what the, I know what the lessons are. Uh, this row will start at four plus one to make a creature zero, two until next turn. So it's very similar to like Jace Rin's Prodigy. Negative three is draw two cards. And negative seven, exile to five target permanents. For each permanent exile, its controller creates a four, four. So you can make like five Offensive lands defense, into four, yeah. fours. Yeah. yeah. But you could pick the opt, which is just not a good card. You know, that's another option. That's another what? Option. Option? Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. You could take Divine Gamut, which is actually pretty bad. I don't like it. Someone else is like, it's actually better than I thought. If I'm they like, have like, no. an insane bomb, it's good. Because it's like, there's no way they can beat. Their, their, be their best threat is not going to be as good. Right. As I'm like, I'll bounce your Elder Dragon. But that's not like really a good something. situation. This card actually was really good against me because this format is so spell-centric. I think I just want either he looks though. Apparently, first day of class is like a banana banger in like older formats for red decks. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, put one counter on it and gains haste. So in goblins, you play like the goblins that make tokens, and you just like nug them for eighteen in one turn. Oh, you can play this into like empty the warrens, right? Well, or like the scourge, whatever. All the you know the goblins that make that actually goblins. does seem. Plus, you got you can learn too. So if you just happen to have like a lesson in your sideboard, right? It's actually really good. Look at this. Have you seen this? Oh, I like it's it. Pretty good. It's pretty sweet. Mine's desire, bro. Straight up. Too bad it's not really playable. Yeah, Kurt forced me to draft this one time, and I was like, "Well, I guess if you get three huts off on it, it's pretty banging." It was not. How many hits you get? I think we had two lands. I think we hit. I think we twoed, and then we had two lands. All oh, right, because you take get a, lands. It's not like I forgot how my desire works. It's like you just flip, but you flip. It's not right. Like, it's, it's not. Like, like, it's not. You keep going. You hit a spell, right? right? Yeah. You could just literally blank. Clem the firstborn. Your daddy didn't even want to do that. Wow. I guess we'll take this. I don't think Fracture's good enough, right? Like, there's probably not enough relevant targets. Um, Unless it's in French. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, the French Fracture was actually misprinted. It says destroy target. I think it's creature, enchantment, or planeswalker. Either way, it kills a creature, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool card when he kills a creature. Uh, pretty cool. Ew, it's oh no i think it's i think it might be i think it might be artifact because i literally think it's bedevil but for two mana instead of three funny enough in commander killing a creature is actually kind of worse than killing an enchantment oh uh, that that would be yes that would make sense i'm gonna take wormhole serpent you ever been to the wormhole michael once or twice what's your favorite wormhole experience it's private exactly <laughs> a gentleman never tells about the wormhole <laughs> Well, we we can all guess, so it's okay. That's path to fun. Is it? 
Yeah. What's the other half? Is Archway Commons the whatever land to tap? To, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's a rupture spire. That's the or yeah, uh, that's a word I was talking. That was one you were talking about. That was the word I was. Is rupture spire the first version of that kind of card? I think so. And then there was a second one. Five and three for eight. This is like the third option. Uh, surprisingly, you get a lot of mana in this format. Yeah. Well, then that seems like a banger. I want to take it. it. It's like Cone of Hate or whatever that card is called. Cone of Flame? Yes. Cone of Hate. That's the black version. What's Mike B's favorite Eurig hole? Wow. A Eurig reference. That's a it's a, that's a throwback. Yeah. I guess it was only actually a year ago, but COVID makes it feel like it's been an eternity. That was, that was actually uh, six years ago, Michael. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, is it in your cart yet or this? Yeah. Oh no, I've actually I've been looking at it though. You already have a Doom, right? Yes, but or is it on the way? No, this one. I got Doom up there, but this one's really nice. Plus, he's stepping on the server. Oh, that's like two statues in one, buddy. That's kind of it's kind of sweet, yeah. And it's pretty sick. But like, how many Dooms can you have, right? Well, I would sell the one I have. Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I could just new. Isn't the other one XM though? No, the X the other one's sideshow. Oh yeah, then swap it out. Flop, did it flop it is out. Is that XM? No, this is CO signature collectibles. Okay. I'm looking at a, a, a Doctor Doom. Draw a card for certain power among creatures you control. Like I really never trust that. I think yeah, I but like you, you draw commons. two. It's three mana draw two, right? What you if only you don't draw two though? And you wait to cast it. I also kind of like letter here actually. Three mana. That's good. Yeah. Any any color in these second draw card. I don't know about that card. It's not a two mana mana rock, so it doesn't count. Two mana mana rock. Two men I'm and I rock. This guy's fine. It's a two one for two, and then you can exile it later in the game for a three two. It's very rare that three men and men are good enough to matter anymore. <sighs> Buddy, you ain't getting. Except for Sky Clay, whatever, because you make copies of it. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll take a Vortex Runner. No. Maybe because you're a two drop. Or maybe my experience in Commander is so warped because I play with higher power tables. Yeah, you just play with degenerates. Uh, except for the one that lets you tap all your manas for whatever, that one's kind of still playable just because of fixing, but that's about it. What about Coalition Relic? It's close. That's, what about Chromatic Lantern? That's the one I was talking about. Okay. What about the one that's the new one, the Skyclave Relic, where you can kick it? And the, the, yeah, that's one of the other exceptions, too. Okay. It's like the three that you might want to play. So anything that has a potential to add more than three is usually right a consideration. But really, Chromatic Lantern is only playable if you don't, you can't afford the good lands. <laughs> the good lands you're mm -hmm. like oh i don't have duels so i play or unless you're playing like a weird a weird like a deck that requires like you're playing a five color deck but you have like a four black spell or something i mean you know black 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 yes so frex and blitter something weird like that yeah got that memory lapse it might be it's almost warm enough to start sleeping in the nude again wow <laughs> <laughs> well the fans who installed the nanny cam really want that one so oh wow I think it's just memory lapse. Memory lapse is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a it yeah. costs one if we get the. I mean, it's basically a remand. Yes, it's close. Kind of like drawing a card, except you don't draw till the next turn, right? Yeah. Which is still just fine. This guy's actually surprisingly good against all the flyers in this format. Yeah, late game is just a banger, right? It's a four four <laughs> for two, does reach. Yeah, and other early it's just a two two for two, so it's good at like it seems good at all points. All the points. I guess if you have six lands, it's kind of not that great, but, you know. Or we can take OGR Battles here. It's weird to have I know, because I want to attack with it. With right. it. Right. right, exactly. If it had Vigilance and Haste, but that's it's not... It's like an 8-8 that taps to scry, and you're like, but okay, but I want to attack with it. It's like that god Asika, like the, the Rainbow Bridge Lady. Rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> These are my like, rainbows. Why would I ever want to cast her for three? Which one are you talking about? I don't actually know who you're talking about. The other side is like Wooberg and it like land here. At your upkeep, you reveal until you hit a uh, Planeswalker or a... Oh, yes. I would never mm. want to cast her as a three. A three yeah, dark. I always want to play the Cascade card, the five mana. She does make side. your other legends tap, but like how many legends you get out on the board. Right. seem great. So it's basically just the three mana elf used right. a lot so, of the time. Yeah. If you're casting on the front, it's desperate times. Another another start from oh this one's actually pretty good, just uh keep it in the side yeah. bizzle. Being able to deal one actually someone someone hit me with that the other day when I was at one and I was like I'm getting gut shot it again. <laughs> it's gut shot all over again. <laughs> the horror.
After this, I was going to play some Legends of Runeterra. Mm, we'll see how things go. <laughs> Maybe if you play your cards right, buddy. <laughs> this card I've lost to a bajillion times. Yeah, I've heard that card's the bang banana banger in draft. Yeah. People are complaining about it. I'm probably going to take it. I mean, you just... Like, this is good. Draw four, discard two, unless you discard an instant or sorcery. Like, that's a good value. This is good because it deals five, but I think I just want the body here because... It's kind of good. This card's also real good, too. It's either a fight yeah, or a, good, yeah. or basically a better spell pierce. I know that one. This guy's good, too. I think that one's in a pre-con. I'll take the mage. Also, I didn't realize that, like, the pre-cons now have some cards that aren't in standard, and I didn't know that. What? Yep. Take a land here. Or maybe they are legal. Ooh, I don't know if they're actually... Cause -like. They're just not in the regular set. Like the thing that Dude, lets you by, stack by, an artifact. By, by precon, you mean decks that are like not commander decks, right? No, I mean the commander decks. Oh, okay. Because unlike the the, the ones that are like yearly based, where they're all non-legal standard, these ones are actually like based on Strixhaven, even though they're still like this year's commander decks. Well, this is, these That's are the 2021 kind of... commander decks, and these are the Strixhaven ones. Right, but like they're not based, though. so like some of those cards are in standard, some are not. Well, everything, they, they order this in such a way that, like, the first cards are always unique. And then you get to Angel of Serenity. And then you're like, okay, everything after here is a reprint. Oh, I didn't know that. So the first few rows are alpha. It's all alphabetical. It's alphabetical twice. Like, here you got Commander's Insight. Oh, okay. And gotcha. then it goes through T. And then, again, you have Aether Gale, Aether Sprouts, Brainstorm, and this is all That's the reprints. Good to know. So the first few rows of the of the Magic uh, Card Image Gallery. I wonder if Scryfall does that. They introduce. Um, they might because they might be numbered in that way. I think they are numbered in that way. Oh. Hmm. So like the the exist the new cards are always numbered first in like the blue in the blue section. Dude, do, 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 do. this have you seen Triple Gamble? No, that's pretty sweet though. <laughs> Let's take Soothsayer. Ever, yeah, then you at least have a chance to get one. I suppose actual gamble or it just goes right to the garbage can. You ever triple gambled, Michael? Gamble's just a secret in tomb for red. That's how you should use it. Rishkar, Ogar. Hmm. You ever gamble with one card in hand? <laughs> um, no, but it's actually not super unpopular depending on the strategy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did I already take an instruction? Damn it. I don't want two of this and two of the other one. Biscuits. Oh, wow. That came back? Jeez. This is draw four on it. You this set's going to affect historic. Why? Because, like, Brainstorm's legal and stuff now. Uh, no. Some of those are not legal, actually. Oh, they banned some? Like, before. But I think Brainstorm is one of the ones that's legal. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. I heard this that. guy seems... This guy's great, right? And I have one Archway Commons and one Letter so far. We the text says Flying and 5-5. Five, five. I need to read nothing else. But it's, you know what that guy is. And Vigilance and Haste. Yeah, yeah um, other words. Whenever it attacks, look at the top seven cards. You may cast an instant or sorcery with mana value less than or equal to its power. So you just attack, reveal seven. Or not even real. Look at seven. And then, and then you can cast one that costs five or less. Yeah, I know that one. Hmm, Interesting. Deals X to each non-dragon creature directs as the exile card's mana value. Yes, Kurt, that was the joke. Decisive denial again. Although one day I kind of want to have it where I have one card in hand after I gamble, so it's like <laughs> literally 50-50. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. What if you don't get it and you're like, damn it. Yeah, but then at least it was a real gamble. When you have seven in hand, it's like, or plus, you're like, mm, is it really a gamble? No, I it's mean, really technically just a yes, but not really, yeah. Right. I'll take this. Card's good. Oh, damn, oh, well, for you, I imagine it's always very much a gamble. Oh, I'll always hit it every time. Return a spell or permanent mana value one or greater. Oh, one of black is so bad. This card's great, and I thought it was terrible because I actually thought it was one or less for some reason, and I feel like an actual Momo for that Wait, now. so you just can't pound zero CMC? Or one. Oh, oh no. so you can't hit lands because it's any permanent. It doesn't say non-land. That's interesting. That's a really interesting distinction. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just say non-land right because if you just say non-land you can get rid of all the other shit on it right 
I guess weirdly enough, you can't buy it. Spell or non land permanent. Is there like zero CMC permanents in this format that matter for that? Or maybe it's like future shit where they're going to come out with some busted zero drop. <laughs> Quandrix Campus. Yeah, that is worded really interestingly. I guess it doesn't bounce tokens. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, tokens. Oh, there's actually a ton of tokens in this limited format. Yeah, so okay, that's that, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's actually makes a lot of sense. Um. I think it's just frost trigger. How's our three drop looking here? No, not bad. Why did they? Some of these mythic archives, you're like, why would you? Why are you gonna waste my pack on a revive? You know, revive. Is good, though. Yes. Yes. Oh, let me take another Spledge mage here. Oh, Lorehold campus. Oh, this guy's great though. Do you like casting spells? What? Oh, you already got two. You got three, actually. Yeah, you can take This it. card's good, too. I've heard a lot of people say it's too slow. But... Yeah, but in the late game four and you draw a card or you draw two cards, like, eh. I don't want to take the Cultivator here because I think it's a good four drop. I think it's a little too dirtily. It's like your mother, Michael. An instant sorcerer from your ground on the bottom. If you do, excel the top two cards. I'm going to play those. Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. Vanilla Lord's got to be a banger in this in draft, right? Vanilla really... Lord? Yeah, the bear. He gives plus one, plus one to all non... If they have no text on them. They have no abilities or whatever. What? I think I'm having a stroke. He's a four-man dude. He's a bear. He's a professor. I, I, I don't think I've even seen that card. He gives Vanilla guys plus one, plus one. Oh, Dennis, what a welcome Or back. is that not in the draft format? I said only... That might be a commander card. That might be. Take another land here. No, wait. Yeah, I think it is in the commander deck. Wow. I think it's in the green one. Cool. Cool, Michael. Sorry, it's there's so many, there's so much that comes out, it's hard to keep track, okay? I guess you can find out on that page. That's what I was just going to do. I really hope the the red-white land comes back. That would be cool. I right, roughly like this stupid rare. Where am I back? Oh, yep, commander. Ruxa, patient professor, four mana four four. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, return a creature card with no abilities from your graveyard to your hand. Well, that's pretty good. And then creatures. So it's just like Muraganda petroglyphs. But yeah. But commander. But yeah. So the reason I thought he was in the was in the pack because there's a card that just has him on it that isn't actually him. Also would be in the rare spot, not in the so that would also gave it away. Do you think all bear professors look the same? Well, considering it's literally an image of that bear professor in another card, in this case, yes, they do look exactly the same. Okay, it's the Michael. same character. <laughs> okay. Also, it kind of seems cool to make a commander out of that, but then again, you're just like, wait a minute. One just day they get plus I'll one, plus one doesn't mean they don't suck. Make a commander out of you. Be a commander. Oh, yeah, it came back. You know, one day I want to commit to a super low power, but I just I can't ever bring myself to do it. It feels less fun, right? Right. I just don't. Enjoy it. Be, oh, my treasure vault. My vault's open. Uh, all right, we'll do it later. I'm thinking about keeping one of the pre-cons together, like, by itself, except for swapping out some of the bad tap lanes. But other than that, keeping it as is. Yes, yes. Be a We're just going to try, but I'll never play a stupid coming to play tap land that gains you one life. Never. There's no, there's no reason, for, reason for it in Commander. Yeah, I don't know why they put them in there. Just, just put basics. They're better. You heard the man. Well, you seen the text from the man. <laughs> you heard the man. Three five, three four. This guy scries. Oh, it's I already think this is... I forget. I keep forgetting about that. I'm like, man, there's a lot of valuables, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta add more lands. Yeah. So we got oh. fifteen creatures. Cut a creature. How much are we learning here? Do we have any learn spells whatsoever? And things that get learned. Well, no, they get lessons. Yeah, that's a learn. That's what I meant. Man, we actually have like one lesson. That's what sad. about the historian? The historian? Yeah, the two drop. No, the other one. This one. Yeah. That eh, guy kind of sucks. Yeah, you don't do. Much but I like having two drops. You said it was a slower format, though, right? Yeah, all right. I don't actually think I want planes. I have letter, lore hold, and archway commons. A three for one card. For a seven drop. Respect. 
Hunterstead all day, baby. Hey, baby. We got 14. We're high blue, low green. Uh, you might want to hybrids affect that too, though, right? I don't know. They do. I, I've given up sure. on counting the arena lands. I've given up on counting. So this is four, or... five, six, seven, eight, and then five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five. We'll add one more green. So your green isn't starting to like three. Oh, wait, man. I got this. I got this. Oh. Don't. The, the three drop down. But still, three forests is not over. Also, it seems really weird for them to do the new thing where they're like, one green, one blue, and then one hybrid. It's just like, just make them all hybrid. Who are you kidding? What do you mean? Make them all what? Oh, so like one color? Drop. Right. How Wait. It's like, no, the ones oh, that are like, like colorless, blue, half, green, and half. one green. Yeah, it's like, just do them. Well, because they want to make sure you're either you're, you're both colors. Oh, so you can't cheat either. Right, so you can't just play it in a mono green deck or like a green black deck. Hmm. Now that makes sense. Oh, yeah, snap it off. Five drop, five drop, eight drop? Sure. That's yeah. got those got scry. You'll get there. You'll find things. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Michael, is anybody calling you? Is anybody chatting with you? Has anyone called you? No. And if you do, I will block you. I don't play around with that shit. You can text me all you want, but if you call me. Don't call me, bro. You won't ever talk to me again on the phone. You'll never talk to, or the first time at all. Wow, this is really boring. Well, I might answer just in case it's like something important. Hello? If it's not a spam, I, I might answer sometimes. What if they troll you? No, well, they'll get one shot. Look at my, Michael, you wanna see my worm? Oh, I did get a text. <laughs> this is from Curry. <laughs> Can we show it? I assume so. Oh, I don't wanna show the number though. Can I just click it to? Oh, okay. Yeah. God, he's so. Look at that. <laughs> it's Kermit, guys. Beautiful. So beautiful. Sorry, Kermit. My phone's on silent, so I just didn't know. Also, the text message symbol looks like a lot of those. Oh, there's a text from College Hunks asking me for their business again. <laughs> that sounds like a porn site. <laughs> <laughs> Does sound like that. Oh, College Hunks is messaging me. So I guess those who are not on Facebook, um, I used a, like, not a moving service, but a junk from moving service to get rid of my old bed. And uh, apparently they were called College Hunks, and I didn't realize until after I paid them, basically. <laughs> or I set the appointment, rather. And it was real funny. I'm posted on the internet. Hey! On Facebooks. I'm just going to slam this guy. I don't think you got counter for him. It's got haste, bro. You oh, man, I whiff? Oh well, it's still a 5 5 flyer. If it's got haste, you gotta slam it. If that's the rule, if it's got haste, ha sla slam what, it. What are you gonna play it on turn nine? Be a baby. Oh, you're just gonna hard cast this with one mana up? You're you're dead, right? Wait, what? What one drop could they have? None. <laughs> Is there a path in this format I'm not familiar Man, with? Man, apparently, if you just play a five drop and a seven drop, you win the game. I mean, I haven't played Standard in a while, but I'm pretty sure they don't print one mana removal uh, spells. Swords to Plowshares, Michael. Anymore. It's a mystical archive card, bro. Oh, wait. It's literally in the format. They literally might have that. In it. That's actually a giveaway. They probably have swords. Because there's no other reason they'd do that, right? Yeah. <sighs> Sucker. I mean, just... unless they just wanted to, like, look. I don't know. No. Nah. I'm, I'm living that sword life. But you yeah, can't really play around. Like, well, let's, you can't play around swords, though, right? It's a one mana removal. No, like, you can't. It's very. Un, it's very. No it's not recommended also to play around the. Um, it's like playing around Force of Will. It's like you can't really do it. It's not recommended to play around the Mystical Archives as well because just they're rare. Yeah, right? it's like you're just gonna give yourself they're one a per pack. They're, they're like a rare essentially, right? Or are they one per pack or not even per pack? There's one per pack. Yeah. Okay. I get to find out on Monday. So our last game we won with a Velomachus, and this turn we're going to play a third turn Planeswalker. Hey, man. Wednesday night or Thursday day? Thursday day. Would you like to open my Japanese box? Oh, yeah, let's do it. It should get here Monday, according to the internet. The I don't even need EPS. my sword to win. I guess we can open my regular box, too. I kind of want to bounce this guy. See, so yeah, everyone's here on the stream. I bought a Japanese box for Strixhaven and also an English uh, 
Oh, are we going to get the Japanese Mystical Archives? Yeah, buddy. That's why I bought it. That's, that's I mean, Jake hot. gave me a very good deal for it, so it should pay. Was it a nickel? Was it like, here's one nickel, Michael? I think I paid him 130 for the box. And they're worth a lot more. So if I play this for three, my spells cost two less. Can I correct? So saying. this would cost three as well. Also, the English box I bought, I don't remember the style I bought because there's so many now. <laughs> hmm. It wasn't the collectors. It was like the... There's draft. Then there's collectors. There's one more, right? The one that comes with art cards? What's that Me? Like? No, no. <laughs> you, you might not know because it's like, confusing. The Prismari teach some good moves. I feel like it's just something. I got my collector's box today in the Japanese country. Wait, I thought Japanese doesn't do collectors, though. Or you just mean you bought both? I'm pretty sure Jap Japan doesn't do collectors. No, but I think there's still Japanese cards in the collector's box. It doesn't matter if it's oh, English or not. Oh, I didn't know that. There's a slot that has either one. Oh, so it's like neither one. Dang, I should have got Dude, where's box. my green sources, bro? I kind of want an emblem. Nice, Kurt. You could probably just hold that for like 30 years until it's a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, we're an emblem here. Man, now I wish I bought a collector's box Today too. Because next turn this costs three cards. and we can copy it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, is it like your next spell until next turn? Uh, no, it's an emblem. So oh, whenever wow. you cast an instant or sorcery, you may pay two if you do copy it. It's, it's pretty good. So you can do it more than once? It's an emblem, bro. Oh, no, you get to pay two once, but... No, I mean, like, if you tick her up, you can do it again, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can make multiple emblems, sure. Let's That's wild. Dude, can take. I kind of want to make a commander deck. You know what? Mike, are you moving with Frank? Yes. <laughs> no, he's going to stay here. He lives here now. Well, it's not mine. to be super common knowledge, so... I don't want to see him. What common knowledge? You live here now. That's the truth. He's got reach. Oh, you stupid dummy. Watch, oh, so they're going to ping this guy now. Okay. It would be weird for me to move to a whole different state, and then after you'd be like, no, nah, you guys go ahead. <laughs> I'm outie. Plus, like, it's super helpful for rent in terms of renting. Yeah, you choose me for my big money. Yeah, I mean, it's true. I was like, one day my, now he's got big one day my horse will come in. <laughs> like the old man who hopes his son gets rich. <laughs> yeah. I put, my, I put all my money on you, son. He did heavily in death. Well, actually, I didn't. I ended up... The maintenance guys eventually did it for me. Yeah, they paid for that door for free. I returned that door. You were, oh, yeah, he did. Mike B is going to pack up his mattress and bedside table and move back to, to back yo, Florida. It's to you, obviously. Well, Michael actually couldn't move with us because his career at college hunks... Uh, wouldn't allow him, and he has to stay here. <laughs> hey, Kurt, if you want to stay, I ain't going to stop you. Oh, well, technically, I don't own a bed right now, so I couldn't move with my bed. Yeah, we threw his bed into trash. I did, and I paid for it like a sucker. I should have bought a truck. Then I could have done it myself. Actually, you should have rented a truck for like 20 bucks and just brought it to the... Oh, man. Oh, man. Dang it. Yeah, you way over... Yeah. Yeah, you also literally 20 bucks, so I could have spent 20 bucks. We could have put it in the truck, and then you could have just driven it to the re recycling center. Yeah, they still charge you like the recycling fee, but that's way cheaper. No, it was free for us. Man, I'm a... F I could have... Wow. That's a $140 difference. Uh, no, it's like a, it's like $160 difference. Well, the difference? How much... Oh, because you, you tipped them, too. Right, because like, if they put a tip on the thing, I'm like, <sighs> can't not tip, right? It's weird. No. It's... Plus, plus, like, he had to take the card after, so I'm like, it's going to be real weird if I don't tip. Yeah, even if it's 20 or 30, like, still... Any poker news? The poker ring I played with, who were, like, mostly fishes, stopped playing, so... They probably got. They probably still play. They're just like, let's make a new group without that guy that steals our money every week. No, I actually left the group. I got annoyed by the messages. I mean, they were pretty obnoxious. Also, the dude who I used to like in the group, like the guy who run it, was pretty cool. <sighs> he posted something that was like, oh god, I really? bet it was super cringe. Yeah. So it was like, 
So remember when there's the controversy with Little Nas? Yeah. Like, so like he posted about that and he was like like how everyone was complaining like that I forget exactly, but like it seemed like a pretty reasonable message at the time. It wasn't like super cringe. But then the comments people were like, I wouldn't let my kids be and he's like, Yeah bro, my kids the same, but in general and I'm like, oof. And I'm like, you know what? I'll see you later. So it's pretty anti anti gay, basically, is what was going on. Always good to see. And I'm like, I remember how old this guy is. Oh, my age. There's no reason for that. All right. Let's... Not that it's okay for old people to do that, but you know what I mean. I guess we're going to have a decisive denial. What's that bird doing? Uh, your cards that cost five or more are one less. Your instants and sorceries. I guess that's a discount. I guess for things that literally cost five, it's really good. But anything more, it's like... I'll block. If you got a trick, I'm fine with it. Buddy, who's got the time? Well, no, it's not a good excuse, but an old person, at least you can be like, well, they were raised in it. As where a young person, like, they have no leg to stand on other than being a chip bird. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six. We use three of it, we go to four. We can play this and this, which is actually pretty decent. Is this best of one or they're... I don't play best of one, man. What I didn't I, think so. I was just making what sure. Am I a baby? <laughs> what of antibody? Pretty good. Gotta say, things in the Mike B world are going pretty smooth lately. Katie got my hand. Katie got friggin' Pocahontas stuck in my head. No, Mulan. What are you talking with? Just this, just this guy, huh? I mean, I'm just gonna block again. Well, if it wasn't that, I'm sure it would have been one of the songs earlier. So, <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh no! Gain one. You're right. Does that guy pump when you gain? Uh, if you have 25 or more life, you get plus two, plus one. Yeah, that's kind of subtle though. I'm blaming if you're getting one, got two, by three, four, and then we have two. I still feel like your opponent's like just dead. Maybe. Who knows, you know? I think our spells are better. Who can say? Who can say? Yeah, Hunter. Well, He's saying. so loud. Arr. Pigment Storm is four because we have a spectacle mage. The uh, case of the mage. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, Pigment Storm. It did its gerb. Bounce you. Get back my squirrel. I don't think I'm going to be up there. Oh, he's losing already. Yeah. That's seven. why he's like, it's just how many best of three. How much time do I have to stay No, here? usually I like best of three better because there's three rounds. Best of one, like, it can be sky's the limit, I think. I think you just play until you lose. I think you play for all eternity, as far as I know. Right? Me no, no. <laughs> you do know, though. Mm -hmm. It's your gerb, as Ooh. they say. I'll never tell. But what if I did tell, Michael? So <laughs> is the owl is making Mike have it? Yeah, I think so. Who knows? Who knows what the owl's doing, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, he hasn't been active in the chat, but Super French just... Super French? <laughs> Super French uh -huh. just sent me this. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best lines of that show. You don't even know my real name. It's funny because Robert California is literally just that actor playing himself, I think. <laughs> 
Like, there's no difference between Robert California and the dude from the Blacklist. They're literally the same. From the Black Lotus? The Blacklist. Uh, target a creature of Planeswalker. It's a 5 inch target. Oh, I guess we could show people what I'm talking about. And then 3 damage to another target. I guess you just pull up the meme to show him because this is a... Oh yeah, Robert California and Ultron are also the same character. That's true as well, yes. I mean, I love that actor, but he does play the same role every time, basically. Look, there's Ruxa, bro. There's a professor. Oh, that isn't him, or is it? I don't know. I'm I'm here. I'm just also setting up my D and D map. What a nerd, <laughs> dude! Freaking nerd. Well, I'm setting up my D and D map. Hey, Super Fritz. I know I just made fun of you, but can we play D and D over the internet? Is that a thing I can do with you? Mm. Or do you guys play with vaccinated people? I would also like to play D and D. Got reach? No, I only played once, but I did enjoy it. D and D, you must be quick and raging fire. Sitting in the jacuzzi. Oh, we got a hell yeah. We need a way to make that treasure guy blockable. Yeah, I know. He's a banger. Oh, Theo, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Really appreciate it. What's that guy? This is a master symmetrist. What's up, everybody? Welcome in. We are doing some Strixhaven drafts. Oh. Can that's... you live stream your D&D? I would pay to see that. These are good emotes. Those are high quality. Yeah, I like good, like you can tell good emote because it's very clear when it's actually posted, and I'm like, oh, I can understand what's going yeah, on even here. Before you zoom in. That guy seems very good. Eh. He gives most of your creatures trample. Well, I guess not on their board, actually. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to block here. <laughs> I don't love it, but I'll do it. Figure I'd give you a red since you're angel. <laughs> yeah. We're we're Twitter muches. Muches? Can you say that? Is much? My Twitter game is that strong. I don't She's know. my much. <laughs> Past blockers. <laughs> like the much is loose? No. That would be... It's getting worse, buddy. What's that? Mm, okay. We're done here, I guess. I mean, this guy's maybe like 40 tokens. Oh. Okay. Another one of these, eh? Hey, man. My much. <laughs> yeah, Michael. Are you going to... So I know you're requiring real duels, right? Yeah. What are you going to do with the proxies? Oh my god. They're in my other cube. Oh. Maybe, maybe they won't be one day, though. Did you ever think about that? No, I, I know I know what you're going to do, okay? I know your intentions, my god. <laughs> I'm aware of what you're proposing. Also, what? Do you mean, uh, what? This one? What, what are you saying? Then he just doesn't respond anymore. Oh, sorry, I blacked out. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Best Sarah, send it. How are they gaining life? I, like, they're at 25, and I don't really understand. I guess they gain one a turn from this thing, but... How are you Yuchi's enjoying the farm? I've actually thought it was pretty good so far. This is my only experience. This is Mike's first draft. He doesn't even understand what the cards do, so. I guess I could play it on my phone now, unless they took the bait away. I don't know. If oh, because you gained two from each of these, so double double infused is four life, yeah. Has he got, has he got the tea sipper? I think he does, right? I think we saw it the other game. The tea sipper? Yeah. I don't the know. Two drop, the commander, the legend. Well, this is game one, so I don't know. Wait. Was that last opponent? Last opponent had a totally different deck, Michael. They were not black green. I could have swore they had the tea sipper. Oh, dear. He has good days and bad. What are you doing, T-Sipper? Thank you. Is that a antibody with the gifted sub? All right, now our guys are online. I actually kind of wish it didn't tap this so I could crack it. Oh, I guess one of his guys is reaching. He doesn't realize it. Oh, you're right. Don't say anything. Why? Why? You... Oh, damn it. He must have heard. <laughs> Fuck. He has, wow, wow. 
Oh. I actually also forget this has a reach, because really, why would it? It's a rhino druid. It doesn't make any sense, but fine. I guess. Yeah, rhinos can't have reach. If a Veldrazi can't have reach, a rhino definitely shouldn't. Those yeah. Are, they're kind of short, right? I guess. I don't even know, man. Not if they stand. What if they stand up on their hind legs, though? What if they're bipedal rhinos? Well, that one actually is. Right, and that's my. Well, is that still a short rhino? I don't think so. But they're like in this world, they're like people, so I don't think they're as big, or maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know the size. What about what about Rock's War Monk? What about him? <laughs> <laughs> what about him? I'll be honest. I forget what card that is. I know it's, it's a three four for Bant mana, and it has Life Link. Oh yeah, it's like one of those the cycle of those. Yeah, and then you got Wooly Thokdar and uh uh Wooly Thokdar's the Naya one, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The sap the guy that makes saplings and dies, the Jund one, the three three. Uh yes, yeah, sprouting, sprouting Thrynax. Yeah. What's the Esper one? I think it's Tower Gargle. I don't think they all cost Oh, six six, huh? I don't think they all cost three. I think they're all just having having their mana and their colors. It's a green card, but it's in the green blue guild, so it has to have a nonsense over buff. Yeah. Are these guys coming through? As far as color combinations go, they've definitely been pushing blue green a lot. In the color recent. complications. I mean, just think of all the banned cards recently. A lot of them were blue green cards. Literally 90% of them, probably. Let's see. Oko. Titan guy. Titan guy. Euro. Euro, yeah. Uh, I don't know any others. Come on in, Bears. But that's good enough. That's it. That's two out of two, baby. That's 100%. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, there's more. That's not no, that was it. Just the two. <laughs> oh, yes. Big keeps. Oh, the untap? Yeah, the return to the wild or, yeah, the UT untap thing. Which is basically a blue green card because you play it in the deck with the. Uh, Damn it, whiffing twice? Turn. Cast an instant or sorcery spell. Come on. I looked at seven cards out of 17. That's half my deck. Whatever. This guy's got vigilance. They have Dragon's one card real in piece of shit. We're living the dream anyway. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. They can block it, right? Once. Once. They get one. Everybody gets one. Yeah, I guess he's got a few turns, actually. No. One turn. Well, I'm no mathematician, but that's 14 well, minus 5. is. If you were a mathematician, you could probably get a job zero. in Strixhaven. It's not a real place. Not with that attitude. No, just it's not. I'm just taking six here. Unless you mean a job at Wizards, but that I don't think they really employ mathematicians per se. They oh. might, but it's not like a requirement. You, you like know. this frog? It's kind of gross. Looking. Oh look, the next card was an instant. Got See, it. this is why now they have a six six, and I can't bounce it. Are we so. going back to Alara ever? That'd be cool. I do like Alara. That's Wait, one of my favorite. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can we just kill them? God, I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to risk it. Don't you just bounce one of their guys and kill them? Oh, don't, re don't forget the pest gain you a life when they die, right? No, but I'm giving two dudes unblockable. Well, let's just do the math. I did, but my point is if they have like a removal spell. They got one card. But you're definitely dead if you do that. Why don't you just attack him just with the... Well, because this guy's unblockable. Six, seven, it's two turns versus... Is there an upside to risking it, though? Can Giving him extra turn back? could be worse. Oh, they also have reach on this, so that's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna... Fucking whiff twice? Maybe I just don't have any cards in my library anymore. They're all gone. You're dead. Which is funny, because I have, like... Uh, this, this, this... Uh, the fight card. I have four spells that could have could have triggered it in my in my yard of graves. I might just want to play this now because then we can actually cast the spell we get from it. I started in um, even whatever that set was called, Shadow More set. Whatever that set. That's when I started. Even, even tide, morning tide, whatever that set block was called. Okay, I think we're doing good now. I just remember seeing that dragon for the first time. The one that comes back from the graveyard with all the copies of it. Dragon, like, come back! That card's a banana banger. You can blame it all on me. I kind of like Reject. They have a bunch of creatures. Afternoon Tide. I like the Michael Rambert banana banger. 
remembered it? Yeah. Like I forgot about it? That would be the alternative, yeah. Good 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 call. Like I forgot? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'll get you a couple bucks on my wallet. I know you're. it's a contract under your license. Are you talking about Banana Banger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to say <laughs> you, owe it. You, owe me, you owe me 46 cents for royalties. There's always money in the Banana Banger. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny. God, that show was good. I feel like the it, it went downhill after the, the read, read. The new ones weren't. Yeah. I was just like, like we didn't watch all of them, but I remember like being like, yes, but there was a reason I think we didn't watch all of them. It just wasn't like as it wasn't like it wasn't bad. It just was like not as good. Michael, you remember this? No, <laughs> I do. But B A N A N A S. Do you know bananas, Michael? Michael, who do you think you're talking to, <laughs> buddy? I know all about the bananas. What's your favorite species of banana? The tiny ones. That's not a species. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Oh, wow. I thought you knew everything about bananas. Well, not offhand. I got a book that I wrote about them. You wrote a whole book about them, but you yeah. can't remember one name? Yeah, I have memory issues, and I appreciate it if you didn't bring it up. What's your book called? Bananas in Pajamas, Part 2, the sequel. The beginning of hope for banana kind. It's a little lengthy. But... Oh. <laughs> I really like that it's called 2. And the sequel. This is uh, Ghostbusters 2, the sequel. Wow, that's a good name. Oh, man. I really can't wait to read your book, man. If you guys have, uh, <laughs> if you guys are interested, you can go to Amazon and find Shall Michael's book. Prime. It's, uh, it's called Bananas 2, the sequel. The, ho the last hope for Banana Kind. So. Oh, according to Super Fritz, the, the like, very last season, because they made 2, was actually good. I don't know, it's like a comedy show. I don't think I need to really... It's kind of what it is. You know, we do have to watch the new season of Ozarks. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Is Katie seen it? No. I think you gotta catch her up. We've got so many shows, man. You can watch that... Like, I'm gonna have to... You can watch that slowly, like, with her. That's a thing you guys can watch on your own. Until you get caught up. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. This really looks very good, though. Kind of, it was just like another Breaking Bad sort of. It's very Breaking. It does have a very Breaking Bad-y feel. So the main character isn't a complete shit. Dude. He's not necessarily a good dude, but not as bad as White. I mean, very few characters. Uh, dude, every time I watch Breaking Bad again, like which I just did recently in the past like week and a half, actually, um, Walter White just gets cringier and cringier. Yeah, in the first one through, like you definitely in terms of later seasons, you're like, oh, he's a piece of shit. But like, he's still kind of cool. But then like when you rewatch it, you're like, oh man, he's just actually just always been a piece of shit. Yeah. It's rough, man. Invincible? What's that? What at? Sell me on it, Super Fritz. Who dat? I don't want to Google it. I want your review. I don't want to Google it. You Google it for me. It's what a it's a be? cartoon based on a comic book and apparently it's supposed to be really good. I like cartoons. I like comic books. I've been searching for a good animated show. I've been searching. I've heard there's the Jutsu Kaisen or whatever. I don't know. It's on HBO. That's not a word. Good. You just made that up. I mean, it's a word in Japanese, I think. Oh, really, Michael? I have no idea what it means. Wow. Because I don't watch the show yet. But One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a gritty superhero cartoon show and it's dope AF. Man, you just sold me. I watch the shit out of that. Where can I watch it on? Pretty, uh, pretty sure we have all the streams. A violent animated show about superheroes? But it is speaking my language. Hi, Michael B. Do you like violence? Wow. That's an old reference. HBO Max? Alright. I'll check it out. Maybe I'll watch one. Well, I'll try to watch one. I'll probably get halfway and fall asleep. Not because it won't be good. No. But because I can't. Because Grandpa has cause narcolepsy. Old, yeah. Oh, Sonny. Are you watching your cartoons? 
I remember like I had like a whole hour before to get eight hours once, and I was watching um, it was one of those commander games, but it was like long. It was like an hour, but I'm like, yeah, I could watch this for an hour. Like ten minutes, and I was just like, gone. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was interesting. I just my body couldn't do it. If you like the boys, I did. Great show. See, the funny thing is, I didn't read the boys' comics, but I I do like Garth Ennis, so I oh I didn't know it was actually based on comics. The boys? Yeah. Yeah, you big dumb dumb. Well, I didn't, didn't do any research. Yeah, didn't didn't do any research. That doesn't make sense though. Some also, people say boys on the side. I say, let's hear it for the boys. Goodbye, yeah. Professor. Yeah, so we have all the. I'm pretty like there, there's probably some niche streaming services we don't have, but we have most of the popular ones. Like I, I, we don't have like stars or whatever. That's stupid. Streams. There's some weird ones out there. That's really insulting to stars. We don't have stars or whatever well, they stupid had, uh, that one is. <laughs> they had that one show that was good, right? With the. I'm sure they've had plenty of shows that are just fine. The one about. Uh, Spartacus? I think it was actually called Spartacus. <laughs> it's really obnoxious because whenever I want to know what's on what streaming service, I just Google it. I'm like, which one is this on? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, so it's getting to the point now where, like, if you start adding up, it's starting at close to cable prices at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have everything. So I'm just going to crack this. If you like Garth Ennis, did you watch Thus Read Preacher? Both. Oh, uh, I've read Preacher like 17 times. It's so good. And I did not watch all of the series. That was a good draw. When I read when I read that, I like literally borrowed it from Frank's hard copy collection. I should have played land so I could actually attack with both. I'm not smart. Okay, now we're gonna hit for sure because we have a ton of things in the deck, so Okay, yep. just just kidding. If you wouldn't have said it maybe. <laughs> oh boy. The show's been good too. I think I'm still like one season behind, but. Also, Aether Helix is great if they kill this because we just get it back. That's what Father likes. Oh, yeah, Superfits, we do the same thing. So. Yeah, me and Katie and Michael all split, though. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there's people you trust. There's no reason to pay for it all yourself. Unless you have some weird flex complex. Man, and the XLR graver. I guess it doesn't matter. It's, well, actually, it's, a, it's friggin' timely. Real timely. Real, real timely. Okay, man, I'm just making sure. Why wouldn't they put the counter on this guy, the Reach guy, so that they can block? That doesn't make any sense. I did not foresee Go Blank coming, I will admit. Do you, so you'd say you were blank on it? Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of great graphic novels and comics that I got many media uh, adaptation, but maybe that's for the best. Well, there's also a lot of those. So. Come on, Papa needs a new pair of shoes. <sighs> we're just going to play this, kill this guy. Show me what you've got. Also, you know what I just realized the other day that I had no idea of? I have no idea, no. The, uh, in The Walking Dead, the Ezekiel... King guy? Yeah. He's also the guy who plays the voice actor for Cyborg and all the animated shows. Oh, that's interesting. Which I didn't know, but now that I think about it and hear their voice, I'm like, oh, yes, that's It's all same. coming together. I found him on Twitter and I was like, oh, I'll give him a fall. He needed it. I'm sure I would give him a big bump. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we figured they were going to do this. I hope they put the counter on those guys. <laughs> it just dies. Man, if you can keep tra triggering Magecraft, it's pretty broken, right? It's really good. A lot of the Magecraft abilities are pretty solid. God, if they have one more trick. If they have like two tricks, they can just cast this turn. And their last their last two cards are both tricks, like. But you can always hope for the rope. Just hope for the rope. I mean in the future we can just Actually we could have given an unblockable if they try any shenanigans. So Yeah, that actually seems fine. I'm not actually sure how they how they win this game, to be quite honest. Our, 
board is pretty insane, and this guy just giving unblockable other things is... We got one, two, three, four. We can make two things unblockable, so we just go like... No blocks, no blocks. Take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did you know unblockable and magic is actually pretty rare for the most part? I'll crack this. Like if you go on Scryfall and pick unblockable, it's surprising how few cards there are. Oh, I don't actually care about that bird right now. For a bird like you. Um, yeah, but the card, you, you shouldn't be searching for unblockable because the wording no, they use is can't be that's blocked. Not, yes, I'm sorry. That okay. So specified. Yeah, unblockable doesn't have any results, by the way. There's Cards don't actually say that. Didn't they used to? Are you sure? I don't blocked? think so. Because I think I remember searching for it and nothing came up and then I Googled it and I was like, oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? Okay. Did you mean unbreakable? Oh, this is interesting. I kind of like playing Will here and making this his base power. Yeah, I kind of like that. Look at my board. Oh, they're doing Sandman? They're okay, doing they're just, they're, they're, they're done. They're like, you know what? A Planeswalker to go with your Elder Dragon. What, is that a fucking Planeswalker? I'm out. Well, you gotta, to, yeah, but like, we, that was before we attacked with our Elder Dragon, so, you know. I love Sandman. It's one of my favorite things. Thank I like that we're, like we're 2 0 here. Let's see if we can try it. Steven C, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Did I, I Akupo, 26 minutes ago you resubbed. Thank you, buddy. I totally forgot to mention it, but I really, really appreciate it. Didn't they do a show based on another Neil Gaiman's work recently? The New uh, Gods or whatever? New Gods, yes. I is, it, it. is it called New Gods? That called? Something like that. I watched a few episodes and I really didn't love it. That's sad. We have pretty similar tastes, so. I don't know. It might have been me. I might give it a shot, but. I also haven't heard much about it, which tends to think me think it's that. It's a good, yeah, you're yeah. like, ooh, oh no. American Gods, that's what it was. New Gods is worked by Jack Kirby. Look at me, I know about all the God Cubics. Shut your mouth. It's like a furry version of Lothar, Lord of the Rings. That, that's weird. Furry? Are they on a quest to put a ring in the mountain? Because that seems real specific. Aren't we all, buddy? I don't know if I believe you about that. Michael, we're all on a quest to put a ring in the mountain. Yeah, you pretty much have to kill that thing on the spot, otherwise it just... You get to counter every time you cast a spell or something, right? Something stupid like that. What? The, the Condrix thing that died? Yes. Don't worry. It'll grow. What? There's a reference to that movie. You oh my seen? god, MTG Nurgle. Thank you for the host. You are awesome, buddy. Man, a raid and a host? You guys are fantastic. Have you ever seen this movie called Endgame? Endgame? Mm -hmm. It's from like the 80s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, it doesn't. It sounds awesome. pretty lame, but why was it? Was it about. It's got. Yeah. It's about. It's a movie about Grimace. <laughs> MTG Nerd Girl, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. Yeah, weirdly enough, Grimace used to be really dark. You are, like, it was really you mean like a darker shade of purple? No, 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 like like very adult, you know, more adult content. Dang. Grimace, man. Yeah, even Hunter now. Hunter's like, oh boy. He's always like, mm. Hunter's very loud. I don't know when, but I'm looking to suppose a fall show. Oh, yes, there is. Isn't there supposed to be a fall show on Amazon? I've never heard of that, but... Really? I'm... I've heard of it. I feel like these sound effects are loud. I feel like a lot of companies, like... I feel like as things get better with COVID and more people get vaccinated, shows are just going to start coming out, like, infinitely because people had to stop making things. Just, so we're just going to get flooded. It's going to be gonna show drown. fever where everyone's It's going like, to be like magic, but for shows. I'm working on six shows right now at the same time. They all come out in one month from now. You know, not me personally, but somebody. I wish I had one more land here on turn 
six or you say you've been yeah. keeping secrets you've been a director this whole time i don't want to talk about it, michael <laughs> you're being really rude right now i was like an art thing you like the next banksy i get it oh they're tapped out that's nice is one of these a copy what's going on is this you have two of these good grief well, i mean it is a copy in one sense of the word which sense it's the same card sense when <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, this is brutal. Get that Triggs. Big Triggs, as they say. Beat him up. Get in there, bird. Dude, there's so many There's so many shows that are like, that I want to check out, but that like, there's just too many. It's just like, why is there so many shows? I don't understand. Yeah, but like that just means there's more things for you to look at eventually. Yeah, right? I don't mind, but like it's a lot of times it's hard to keep track of where I'm like, oh god, I forgot this was a thing. The only thing I don't like about that is if a show's really good, but it just flew under the radar and then gets canceled, even though it was like great. Oh, good, wonderful. And then they draw two lands. This card, this this deck looks very good. Um, like there's a show on Netflix right now called This Is a Robbery, the world's great biggest art heist, and I'm like really looking forward to watching that, but I like keep forgetting that it's it a show. Yeah. Hey man, put that on the freaking list. Hey, man. Oh, see, I'm starting right this second. Actually. It's about heists, buddy. <coughs> well, art heist, Michael. You don't even like art, so that's okay. I'll shoot you in the face. Oh, will you? <laughs> One, two, three, four. I don't have enough things to do. Then I'll do a heist. Okay. I mean, that's your choice. Can we do the heist without shooting you in the face? I don't understand. No, I get it. I like their hand is four lands and a Kelpie guide. It has been good so far. Steven, are you referring to the show I just mentioned? Oh, I would think so. Is it like a show based on real things, or is it just uh, like a show about a heist? What do you mean? It's called... What do you... What? Wait, what? Is it based on real events, or is it like a just a Netflix original thing? No, it's literally based on the world's biggest art heist. That's what I'm asking. You think they just made up the world's biggest art heist and called it the show that? Yeah. Okay, weirdo. Oh, look, it's a carrot wrangler. Yeah, the art heist show. Nice. It's kind of daunting. Like, when I finish watching a show, there's so many... I agree. I agree. And then I'm just like, well, I'll watch The Office again. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. Or in my case, I'm like, I gotta watch this dude talk about memes because he's funny. Who, who is the dude? There's some dude. Hmm. Fascinating. Jack Spadicey. He's always got bangers. Huh. Is that what his real name is? His real name is Sean McLaughlin? Something like that? I don't understand this. I guess anyone who's not familiar, it's actually Jack Spadicey. Yeah. Right, that's what I, I just wanted to. I knew you probably knew that, but you know. Like, let me tell you a secret. Okay. Everybody knows. Hmm. Which one are we slapping back to the, the other? This guy. Also, so you know what I figured out about YouTube that's really weird? Tell me what's weird. Even if you're subbed to someone, but you haven't watched one of their videos in a while, they stop appearing on your stuff. Your stuff. Like your, your feed. It's weird. Gotti. Also, I often don't go on actual Reddit or 4chan anymore to look at memes. So that's kind of a way to consume them still. Best part is the retired art thief at the interview because he does not look all like what you would picture when thinking of a notorious art thief. God, I want to watch this right now. Man. Right now. Stop what we're doing. No. Stop the draft. There's nothing from my room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Starting to get awkward. What? Because it's twelve eighteen. I told you, bro. Mm, yeah. You did say it was a slower format. God, that should have been my clue. You're like, wait a minute. I've changed. You're the one who's been begging to stream, bro. You're right. I did want to stream real bad. You're like, if you're streaming now, I could stay for the whole thing. And I was like, all right. 
Stay yeah, for the whole thing, didn't Michael. Say that. Stay for the whole thing. Okay, well. It's gonna be a rough day to work tomorrow. My overtime day, I normally only get six hours, so if I do that, I can go to bed at two. It kind of defeats the whole purpose okay. of not working overtime on a Monday, though. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's concede. What time? You, you're not working overtime, right? You just work from nine to five? Right, yeah. What a way to make a living. I feel like this is another reject. I'm doing OT up. on Tuesday and Wednesday, but I have a half day on Thursday. So if we stream Wednesday night or during Thursday, I can participate for the whole thing probably. Whatever, nerd. Gotti. Can't believe you've done this. Thank you. That's true, man. I should have watched the purple reviews in an Igtong needle window because now there are so many purple mattress videos on my feed. Yeah. And I Dude, I still get them and I bought one a year ago. <laughs> Leave me alone. Beaston, thank you for the resub, buddy. And really in my case, I'm like, really? I got declined and you're still going to give me advertisements? It's messed up. Kind of rude. What is RT PLS? I don't know what that means. Retweet, please, maybe? I don't know what. Don't what know are you saying, to, but... Miso Miso? You can remove them from your history and fix it. Oh. That's smart. Is that, that true? That'd be a weird thing to lie about. That just seems too easy. I mean, that's probably what it's based off, right? Me, no, no. <laughs> Literally, in this case. It's true. I'll do an experiment tonight. Oh, no, I didn't say RT. I said OT as an overtime, not RT. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yes, OT is what I meant. Which is overtime, yeah. Extra work for Michael. Me like to do the 12-hour days, you heard. Most people are like, yeah, but you usually get an extra job. I'm like, no, I just do more. Not in my world. <laughs> you caught me. I like to lie about banal things. Banal. That's what I meant to say. Banal? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I'll get in there for three. I don't think there's any way to fix Facebook. I don't think there's any way to... Yeah, it's broken. I get me on these all the time, and I'm just like, buddy, I already own these. You, you always know? need more, though. I, do, I, I am probably going to buy a three-pack in a couple days here, actually, to kind of think of it. I feel like you never have enough underwear, you know? Yeah, it's a good point. Also, I literally do laundry when I run out of them, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can play this and play two dudes. Let's do that. Also, the, the pair I'm wearing right now is not me undies. It's the only non-me undies I own, and I'm just like, I want to be consistent, you know? Yeah, you don't want to have, like, one weird pair. Well, these got Transformers on them, so that's kind of cool. Dude, yes, like, I bought, a, I bought a new TV, and they still keep advertising TVs, and I'm like, is there a way I can just tell them I don't need it anymore, or what? Yeah, that's the, that's the real reason I didn't buy it myself, because I was like, he'll get the ads if I just pay him for part of it. Sucker. Yeah, it's a big conspiracy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Seven. Okay, this cost eight. Dang. But what if he buys two TVs? I never stop advertising to him. Let's tap this guy down. He can't untap itself. I'll untap a land. Frost trickster. Man. Out, am I? <laughs> Have to sing the song... Bananas? <laughs> oh, dear. I like the spaces in between. It gives it a real... B-A-N-A-N-A-U-S. What? Hey, man. Frost trickster is actually a really good example of power creep. Yeah, because it's literally just frost links, but with a friggin' flying on it. Yeah. Put that bird in the sky. Put that bird in the sky. <laughs> Just you mean cat? <laughs> it wasn't a bird before. Oh, I guess that's true. Put that cat in the sky. 
Because the bird can't do that on its own. Were you rolling boogers over there, man? No, actually. Okay. I mean, chat would see it if I had my finger in, what? <laughs> in my nose. <laughs> so that image looked real weird and creepy. I just do this, you know, because of my smoking habits. Like, yeah, you good. got a, <laughs> What's it called when you have to, like... A fidgeting. Yeah, but it's... No, it's called something. It's like a something disorder. Like, when you have to, like, fidget with stuff or, like, you have to keep moving your fingers. Sensory, like, something. I don't actually... I can't remember what it's called. I don't have, like, an extreme case of that, but it's definitely a thing for me. What happened to that fidget spinner we got you? <sighs> it's somewhere in my room. Fidgetus spinneritis. Yeah, that's what he... <laughs> that's what he's got. <laughs> Unless we lost, uh, maybe I lost in the move. Yeah. No, it's in my backpack. That's where it is. Oh, good. A mage duel. I should get that bad boy out. That'd be great on the phone. Give me a little doohickey. A doo doo hickey? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, that's something different. Give him the doo doo hickey. Random trivia What year was the first ever wrestling cage match? I definitely don't know, but my shot in the dark says. I'm going to go with 1994. Was that right? This doesn't feel good. I'll just take five. It also doesn't feel good. Taking five to the dome, homie. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? <sighs> so kill one. I feel like 70s is too early for... Earlier than 70s? Yeah, I was talking about modern stuff. Did you guys know that socks and dinosaurs are almost as old as each other? You sound like a crazy person right now. Sure. Oh, the classic ancient Greek cage wrestling. that no one ever answered it no one answered the question you can't give me trivia and then not answer the trivia question <laughs> fidget 1937 really that's wild so it was still the undertaker though right because the undertaker is actually the real life devil in uniform Is it called an oral fixation? I would assume that would have to do with the mouth. Hmm. Maybe, smart guy. I don't know what about it clues me into that, but... You know. Okay. Okay, Michael. God, he's so funny, isn't he? You fucking little Hey, man, if I said that... It's true. Early in the 1900s, people would fight anything or anywhere back then. Or just Florida of all time. Florida still does that. Look how many lands they have. So many lands. Man, draw a card and learn. That's like draw two, discard one. For the banger. I think we're way behind right now. I'm not enjoying it. Yeah, that guy with... Yeah, that's pretty broken. That's actually exactly why there's, we're like, God, every time we go outside, there's a cage match in the middle of the street. We got to leave Florida. It's just too much. It's like, they're only so entertaining, you know? Like, you get, it's boring after a while. There's only so many cage matches and, you can watch. You know, all the traffic. 
around them was really the problem. It was like a Super Bowl every weekend. Psycho motor? I don't think that's it. Oh, that's that was a that was a reason. This sounds draw. like a '80s movie about a Harley Davidson rider. Hey, man, <laughs> you want to ride my psycho motor? Have you heard the legend of the psycho motor? Let's get rid of this guy. Or we'll... like a bad '80s horror movie. Goodbye, little dirt burger. You don't got reach. The weird thing is it's still by Stephen King because Stephen King, while has great things, also has very bad while things. While has great things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, you like Ashiox? Wow. This is a classic, too, this is like living. This is like memories. Hey, buddy, you like Ashiox? If you come over here in this alley, I got plenty of Ashiox for you. <laughs> Only hey, cost you three nickels. Three nickels? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, good. They just keep having things. What hey, is kid. This Let me see your ass, Yuck. Hey, man, you know, you know how I can tell dated videos? Turn plane. Because the layout of the, the, the motos. The layout of the <laughs> motos. <laughs> hey, man, it's okay. You'll just, you'll just catch up with your broken. Michael, do you like ass, Yuck? Is the planes are? Which no. one? Is it, it's just a person, you know? It's just as a person. It's not really a person, I don't think. You think they're gonna get rid of this spot in some in some way? Oh yeah, you're dead. Oh yeah, we're 100 percent dead. Look how many cards they got. One of them's got to say bounce the thingy. Well, this draws them a million. I really hope they're not slow. Anymore. <laughs> just cast the bouncy boy. Come on. Maybe they're finding it, Michael. Do you ever think about that? No, I think they're just trying to be cute. This card's really good. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery in the top three, you may put a land into your hand. Seems, yeah, seems good. Their hand is like so many cards for free. It makes your rampant growth double rampant growths. Whoa! Well, I guess you can. Wait, I guess but... it doesn't go and play though, but still, it's still good, right? I actually didn't know about that guy. That guy's commander good enough. How much does he cost? CMC? Two mana. That guy's two mana, two, two. Also, you get big. Well, no, he got the counters from other means. Oh. Can you imagine if he got big, though? Fuck. Yo, he get big? Yo, you get big? They're at six? God, I feel like we're so close to just killing him, but... Oh, well, it's getting worse. Now they just tap that guy down and kill him. Maybe not. Ooh, that guy's good. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Don't be ridiculous. They did that next turn. Chicken tender salad. Chicken tender salad. Are you... Do you have a problem? I just never had a chicken tender salad. What? Don't know if those exist. Sucks to suck, I guess. Yeah, they do. Like all time, There's always salads with like buffalo chicken strips in them that are cut up. What, are you yeah, crazy? But they're not called a buffalo chicken tender salad. A lot. Oh, let me Google it. Buffalo chicken. Also, you didn't say buffalo chicken tender salad. You just said. Okay, I'll take out the buffalo. Yeah. I bet there's way more. Honey mustard chicken tender salad. Crispy chicken no, no, salad. No, no. Crispy I'm about chicken super tender recipes. salad. Recipes. I'm talking about. I want you to be able to order it on a restaurant. <laughs> order from a restaurant. Order it on a restaurant. Go on the restaurant and order it there. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. And uh, maybe next time we'll 3 0 if our opponent doesn't have fucking ways to draw 16 extra cards a game. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. We'll see you later.